Hi, uh, this is Dan Ariely, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about how to get people to care about long-term saving, or more correctly, to act as if they care about long-term saving. Uh, but before I start, um, you might have uh, noticed that I have uh, half a beard, and you might have wondered why. Uh, so the reason is not because I'm trying to promote half beers or I lost a bet. Uh, just that many years ago I was badly burned, and most of my body is covered with scars, including the right side of my face, so I just don't have hair on this side. And I'm saying this so that uh, hopefully now we can focus on the topic that we're here to discuss and not be distracted by half beards. So in general, when we think in behavioral economics about how to get people to act in a better way, we think about sending a rocket to space. We think about how do we get that rocket to be more aerodynamic, how to reduce friction, and how to add more fuel, how to basically increase motivation, friction and fuel. In the modern world, we have a few things like that, that we basically commit to a saving and we can't, it's hard to change. 401k is an example, mortgage is an example, something that we can't change our mind. And in fact, doing those things basically guarantee it will be hard for us to change our mind later. I just want to go back to our fuel and friction uh, model, and I just want to say, in general, taking care of friction is a really good first start, and then adding fuel is, is a very good thing to do. Basically, to realize that savings, long-term saving, is just not motivating by itself, and we need to add other motivations. More generally, uh, you know, 2,000 years ago, people basically saved in goats, goats, chickens, cattle. And the good thing about saving in goats is that you can come home from the office and you can see how many goats your neighbor has. And you can compete on who has more goats, who has more savings. Then we invented money, then we invented digital money, and we made this category of saving invisible and insurance. And we made the category of spending extra visible. Think about it. How much do you know about what your neighbors are saving? Very little. How much do you know about what they're spending? quite a lot. There's this tremendous asymmetry. You see, saving is difficult already. It's about long-term versus short-term. It's abstract versus uh, specific. Uh, but it's also invisible. And, and one of the questions is, can we make saving more visible? Uh, can we make it more salient to people? Can people feel more proud? I mean, right now, people can feel more pride if they buy something, a new iPhone. Uh, but can they be proud if they save? Not so much. Can we get people to do that? What, what could we do uh, if we were going to design the world such that people could take also pride? If we wanted saving and insurance to be more visible and we wanted people to pay uh, more attention. That's the task I'm going to leave you with. Uh, we've done some steps toward this and we have some ideas of how to do it, but uh, I hope you'll enjoy discussing this uh, problem, question, and think about solutions. And in the meanwhile, wishing you all the best from Durham, North Carolina. Bye.